During the Cold War, the U.S. Navy relied on frigates to escort cargo ships in case of conflict with the Soviet Union. But after the Cold War, frigates were phased out due to budget cuts and assumptions of peace. The need for frigates resurfaced in 2014 with Russian aggression leading to plans for a new frigate program. However, delays in production mean no frigates will be available until at least 2029. This poses a problem as the Navy lacks smaller escort ships, relying instead on larger destroyers. The delay is attributed to labor shortages and inefficiencies in the shipbuilding industry. This shortage of escort ships isn't unique to the US. Other navies also face similar challenges, but America, alone among the Western allies, has the resources to quickly build a big new escort force and protect shipping that benefits both NATO in the West and America's Asian military alliances in the East. Despite having the resources, the US struggles to build ships quickly due to labor issues exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. With only hopes for resolution, the Navy faces uncertainties in its ability to protect shipping lanes in case of conflict. Rear Admiral James Downey said the Navy has been calling for a reorganization of program leadership at the frigate yard, but a leadership reshuffling probably won't remedy the yard's basic problem, a labor shortage that's so bad that the Navy is actually planning on ordering just six new warships in 2025, which is only half what it usually orders, in order to give the wider shipbuilding industry some breathing room.